The Detroit Lions are waving Marvin Hall. And so starts the rebuild. So my initial reaction to hearing the waving of veteran Marvin Hall was simply a long sigh. Huge bummer. I feel similar to that of the Fox and the Hound. When the Fox finds out he's not allowed to play with the Hound anymore, the Hound's like, hey, we used to be best friends, but bye. See you later, Marvin Hall. You were good to us. I'm sorry that it has to end like this. Look, I get it. I get it. The rebuild's coming. So we got to start shipping out these names. It's going to be a weird rest of the season and off season. Marvin Hall has been huge for the Lions, especially, you know, you look at last season and the way he performed. This year under Bevel's offense, he has struggled. But in a season without Kenny Galladay, Marvin Hall, as a veteran, has offered a lot to us. Specifically, that Indianapolis game, he was 4 for 7 with 113 receiving yards. In the win against Washington, he had 61 yards. And then the last two weeks, he's had, I think, 16 yards uh, apiece. All in all, yeah, sure, his numbers aren't extraordinary. And I understand the aspect, the reasoning why they are letting him go, why they are waving him. Uh, it's specifically because they want to give somebody like Cephas more attention. They want to see, hey, listen, you know, we put some stock into you. Are you really going to be what we need you to be as the rebuild is coming? Because let's face it, the rebuild is happening. It's coming and it's probably going to be happening not around Matt Stafford. Just my assumption uh, we will be looking for a quarterback coming into this next season. I believe that Stafford's time in Detroit is done. If an actual rebuild is going to happen, I don't think it can happen around Stafford. They might try this one last two-year stint thing where we try to rebuild around him one last time. All in all, I don't think that's the way it's going to be. So you're looking at veterans like Marvin Hall. You're looking at people that will be getting shifted out of this new era. I love Marvin Hall. Marvin Hall comes up big in a lot of a lot of places that we've always needed somebody to come up big. Marvin Hall has been a guy for that. I am bummed. It was just sort of the right type of news to receive after learning Kenny Galladay is out again. Swift is probably out again. Uh, Matt Stafford, who knows? It just felt right. It just felt like the type of news that we should get. And yeah, I understand. He's dropped a couple balls this year. That would have been huge. He's had some misreads. But I love Marvin Hall, and I will miss him greatly. You know, I, I mean, we look at this past draft, picking up Jeff Okuda. I think Matt Patricia really dug us into the dirt on that one, getting rid of Darius Slay, then having to replace him in the first round when we passed on people like Tua and Justin Herbert. I wanted Tua. I wanted to, uh, I thought that if we had to sit behind Stafford through his 2023 contract, it would be great for Tua. It would be great for Stafford to be able to move on into the sunset well with the Lions. That is neither here nor there. Because at this point, here comes the rebuild, boys and girls. So are we ready for it? Get ready to see a lot of names being shipped out of Detroit to Marvin Hall. It's been good. <laughs>